Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates, bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. Please remember to like share and subscribe to help the progress of the channel and community. TCU is here to even the playing field. I can't promise to only speak about crypto, but I can promise everything will be overstood. Let's dive into today's very dense crypto update. Let's start off with the general crypto market cap. The total value of all cryptocurrencies on the market is currently at $1.01 .01 trillion, reflecting a one-day fall of 1.08%. Fewer readings. The entire volume of the cryptocurrency market during the past 24 hours was $59.26 billion, representing a decline of 22.93%. At this moment, the overall volume in DeFi is $6.02 billion, which represents 10.16% of the entire 24-hour volume in the cryptocurrency market. The volume of all stable currencies is currently $54.34 billion, which accounts for 91.69% of the entire 24-hour volume of the cryptocurrency market. The current dominance of Bitcoin is 41.34%, which is a fall of 0.11% over the course of the day. On Coinbase, the BTC USD exchange rate has dropped to the mid $21,000 range. The pair saw a negative reaction to regulatory concerns emanating from the United States, but it had already been struggling against bearish sentiment for some days, with traders anticipating a retest of $21,000 or perhaps a further decline. Bitcoin was trading at over $21,800, representing a loss of almost 7% so far in the month of February nevertheless, has reached a new low. In addition to this, the relative strength index, RSI, over the previous 14 days also declined, reaching a level that hadn't been seen in over a month. Price strength has started to diminish after weeks of being in overbought territory, which may work as a long-term benefit for bulls, whose next goal will likely be $25,000 if the current trend continues. Next, we have Microsoft Innovation. Microsoft has reintroduced its Bing search engine, this time with ChatGPT already integrated. The value of crypto assets related to AI and big data has increased recently. Big Data Protocol, abbreviated as BDP, is the native coin of a decentralized data marketplace currently in development. Speculative rallies for cryptocurrency projects working in the niche have been spurred by recent buzz around text and picture generation models such as ChatGPT. Stable Diffusion, and Dolly. A good number of the projects provide data analytics that are based on blockchain technology as well as a distributed infrastructure to enable decentralized AI and data science models. Singularity NET offers an incentive for users to provide data that, for instance, enhances private AI models. The users are then given tokens as a form of compensation. Users are able to donate data and processing power to a distributed network through the usage of projects such as Deep Brain Chain, which helps to lower the cost of training AI models. Next, we have Coinbase CEO with a message for regulators. On February 8, Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong stated he had received allegations that the US's top securities regulator might restrict staking. Cryptocurrency is staked in a contract. Staking on-chain lets depositors validate blocks and earn interest. It is more efficient and scalable than Bitcoin mining. Ethereum, ETH, BNB Chain, BNB, Cardano, ADA, Polkadot, DOT, Avalanche, AVAX, and others use staking. Armstrong's Twitter thread on the issue reads, 1. We're hearing rumors that the SEC would like to get rid of crypto staking in the US for retail customers. I hope that's not the case as I believe it would be a terrible path for the US if that was allowed to happen. 2. Staking is a really important innovation in crypto. It allows users to participate directly in running open crypto networks. Staking brings many positive improvements to the space, including scalability, increased security, and reduced carbon footprints. 3. Staking is not a security. Here's a good primer. Fourth, we need to make sure that new technologies are encouraged to grow in the US and not stifled by lack of clear rules. When it comes to financial services and Web3, it's a matter of national security that these capabilities be built out in the US. Five, regulation by enforcement doesn't work. 
It encourages companies to operate offshore, which is what happened with FTX. 6. Hopefully we can work together to publish clear rules for the industry and come up with sensible solutions that protect consumers while preserving innovation and national security interests in the US. Do you think the regulators will shut down staking? Anyways, Coinbase has attracted SEC criticism for adjacent interest-bearing goods. It terminated Lend when the regulator threatened penalties in 2021. In late 2022, the business stated the SEC sought details regarding its staking programs and its stablecoin and yield-generating products. Moving on to metaverse innovations and integration. On February 7, a partnership ceremony was held at the conference, which acknowledged a new Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, between the Sandbox and the government of Saudi Arabia. According to social media posts from Sebastian Borgit, the co-founder and chief operating officer of the Sandbox, the MOU is with the Saudi Arabia Digital Government Authority, DGA, for the purpose of exploring, advising and supporting one another in metaverse development. The Saudi-based conference comes as the Middle East strives to position the area as a hub for innovative technology. Last November, Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates was chosen as the headquarters for the newly founded Middle East, Asia and Africa Blockchain Association. Shortly before, the Dubai International Financial Center created a crypto token system to apply to all tokens recognized in the zone. The city has been a long-standing beacon of regional innovation when it comes to the Web3 domain. It created the first non-fungible token store and, on February 7, announced its long-awaited regulations for virtual asset suppliers. Sebastian's tweets reads, It was a true honor to sign our MOU partnership ceremony between At the Sandbox Game And the Saudi Arabia Digital Government Authority, DGA during HashLeap 2023 conference, and we look forward to exploring, advising, and supporting mutually each other in activations of the metaverse. Next, we have Brave Browser and Solana with a new integration. Brave Software's new cooperation with Solana DApp raised its pricing in the previous 24 hours. Brave announced on Twitter that the wallet would allow Solana support tokens. Crypto user experience may be highly fragmented, stated Solana Foundation Head of Partnerships Amelia Daly. The Brave DApp integration supports browser-based Solana program connections and is designed for smartphones. Brave's Twitter announcement reads, Dot at Solana DApp support is now available on Brave for iOS and Android. In addition to storing, sending, and buying SPL tokens in the wallet, you can now also connect and interact with apps like at Magic Eden, at Orca underscore so, and at Jupyter Exchange, right in your browser app. Brave is a full-featured mobile browser that can explore and connect to dApps, as opposed to the current widespread practice of wallet apps with limited browser functions. But why does that matter? For one, it means you don't need to jump back and forth between apps just to interact with Web3. But most important, with Brave, you know you're getting advanced privacy and security protections everywhere you go on the web. Why should Web3 be separated from the rest of the web? With Brave, the old and new web coexist seamlessly. And now, with Solana dApps available to discover on mobile, it's easier than ever to experience the future of the internet today. Now on to the latest news from Ripple making more than just a splash. The Bank of England and UK Treasury released a digital pound consultation paper yesterday, highlighting Ripple's technology. The 116-page study explains why the Central Bank of England is contemplating creating it and what the CBDC may look like. This mention is on page 67 of the document. Ripple's participation in the initiative is unknown. The consultation document mentions the U.S. corporation under Enable Private Sector Innovation and RTGS, Real-Time Growth Settlement. The paper notes that as part of the RTGS renewal effort, the central bank is building a roadmap for continual service enhancement based on industry input and prior feasibility studies and tests. The Bank of England references a cross-border synchronization effort and a DLT proof of concept with Batten Systems, Clearmatics Technologies Limited. R3 and token. Ripple. Cross-border synchronization, a cooperative experiment with Ripple showed that FX transactions between two simulated RTGS systems can be synchronized, 
resulting in synchronization capabilities being included to the renewal roadmap. The central bank also says it has been engaging with industry to build new strategies and structures so new private sector enterprises may profit from breakthrough technology. The Bank of England mentions its website and the 2017 Ripple proof of concept in a footnote. The central bank tested the coordinated movement of two currencies across two real-time gross settlement systems connected to Ripple Connect and the Interledger protocol. Onto the collapse of the Alliance Block token. By manipulating the price of the Alliance Block, ALBT, token, cybercriminals have successfully stolen $120 million from the Bonk DAO platform. The most recent victim of the DeFi breaches is the Bonk DAO, which was compromised when the cybercriminals gained access to one of the smart contracts and manipulated the price of the ALBT token. Bonk is a mechanism for overcollateralized lending that also creates a stable coin that is tied to the euro. This coin is called Bonk Euro, BUR. Hackers drove up the price of ALBT and coined a significant quantity of BUR, according to an explanation provided by the protocol on Twitter. After some time, they traded BUR for other tokens and drove down the price of ALBT until it was nearly worthless. According to estimations provided by the blockchain security company PeckShield, the criminals stole tokens worth a total of $108 million worth of BUR and $11 million worth of ALBT. By collecting a snapshot taken right before the assault, the Alliance Block team informed the users who were impacted that they would be receiving an airdrop of fresh ALBT tokens. In a tweet by Alliance Block admin explains how they were able to hack the system. The tweet reads, A post-mortem investigation has been conducted by at Think and Dev. Into the exploit of Bonk DAO. We will read the report in the thread below. This is the post mortem analysis made by our CTO, at Pedro Empreet, for the at Bonk DAO exploit where the attacker withdrew $98 M$ BUR and $113.8 M$ ALBT. The attacker managed to get $1 million in ETH and $500,000 in DAI so far and seems to be stuck. We are opening a thread explaining how he did it. Number 2. At Bonk DAO is a lending protocol where you can use your tokens as collateral and mint dollar BUR tokens with a 1 to 1 ratio with euro. The protocol uses at Weartela oracles to keep track of the prices. Number 3. Attacker created a SC so he could perform an oracle price manipulation on dollar ALBT price then borrow and liquidate it for an unreal price in a single transaction. Why was dollar ALBT targeted? Because it was the most liquid token in at Bonk DAO. The TX is a polygon transaction hash. Number 4. The first step in that transaction was adding a wallet. As a staker and add a new report for the dollar ALBT token with price. Number 5. The second step was to deposit 0.1 dollar ALBT. At this point the at Bank DAO protocol thinks that ALBT is worth $5.000.000.000, allowing the attacker to borrow $100 million BUR. Number 6. But how is this possible? Is the at Weartela oracle broken? The answer is no, it's just a bad implementation of the at Bank DAO protocol. Number 7. Following the code, we will see that the trove used is 0x4248FD3E2C055021178B13DE4276170003CA295 where it calculates the collateral value using normalized decimals, collateral, asterisk factory dot token to price feed dot token price, address, token, decimal underscore precision. Number 8. If we follow the factory, token to price feed, and token price, address, token, we will find out that points to teleprice feed 0xA1620AF6138D27544F725029DC9024563BD1 of 5D6 that gets the price like this, U in 256, bytes 32, oracle.get current value, query ID. Number 9. The oracle is teleflex.sol0x8f55d884cad66b79e1013f6bcb0e66f4fd84d5b and calls get current value that under the hood calls get data before 
underscore query ID, block dot timestamp plus one. As described in at we are teller the protocol should wait at least 20 minutes for disputes to be settled. Number 10. Failing to wait for that time allowed the attacker to create a new report, and as the data didn't have a buffer for dispute, it was considered valid, breaking the at bank DAO protocol. On the other hand, at alliance block and at we are teller protocols are safi. Number 11. But the attacker didn't have enough with taking all of those dollar BEUR. So he created a second transaction, https four slash four slash polygons can dot com tx zero 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 two d zero c three d one six d six e zero e zero b six a four two c three c c nine one nine nine seven c two b four zero c eight seven d seven 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 one three six to debate e zero f four seven f three two b one. This time reporting to the oracle that dollar ALBT price was zero x one seven four eight seven six e eight zero zero. Dollar zero 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 one. Number twelve. As the value now dropped, all borrows are under collateralized and can be liquidated. And that's what the attacker did, paying pennies for all those dollar ALBT tokens, getting away with one hundred and thirteen point eight million dollar ALBT. Number thirteen. In hash web three attacks are frequent, that's why we offer highly qualified developers to keep you from making avoidable mistakes. And despite being a at bonk do bug, at Alliance Block is doing its best to compensate its users. The Alliance Block team released a statement about the following mistakes made by bonk do. We summarized the announcement for anyone who missed it, but the full details will be in a link in the description. On to the Alliance Block announcement. After the bonk do exploit on the 1st of February 2023, Alliance Block created a reaction team focused on many crucial areas. This article describes ALBT token distribution for liquidity providers, stakers, including funders, and traders. Our ecosystem partners, prominent thought leaders, exchanges, collaborators, and industry colleagues have shown overwhelming support in recent days. Our global alliance block community members' devotion, respect, and understanding are most appreciated. The team is working fast to develop a fair, transparent, and reasonable token and distribution scheme. Our distribution plan is based on these. 1. Holders and stakers will receive their pre-incident ALBT tokens. 2. The new token will be given following its comprehensive audit, which is underway. 3. The revised token distribution will exclude the node allocation, lowering the supply to 850 million. Distribution will exclude the hacker's address. 4. The Alliance Block creators will allocate up to 15 million of their team token allocation to a. Users who had ALBT in troves on Bonk DAO and b. Reasonably distribute the additional tokens among those who have traded for some time after the occurrence. Meanings Some token distribution terminology is defined below. 1. Snapshot A snapshot records all blockchain wallet address and contract balances at a certain time. This covers exchange and hardware software wallet balances. 2. Tokens. Token distribution creates and sends fresh tokens to eligible users based on wallet activity between snapshots. Stakeholders. Before discussing the plan, we must highlight that our stakeholders, token holders, stakers, liquidity providers, CE says, and traders, mostly out of our hands. We considered stakeholders' interests when building the new token distribution mechanism since we recognize their situation's complexity. According to the response team, the following stakeholders are eligible. Holders. Holders are those that held legacy ALBT tokens in their hardware or software wallets throughout the event and never exchanged them until 24 hours after the Twitter statement. Holders receive all tokens. Lenders. Liquidity providers are ALBT holders in BNB, AVAX, Matic, EWT, and Ethereum pools. The snapshot will provide liquidity providers 100% of their ALBT holdings. Stakers Stakers stake their tokens in the two-year and four-year hardcore no-mercy staking pools, on funders, or in liquidity mining campaigns. Staking pools will get 100% of ALBT staked and awards, However, they will be locked for the rest of the campaign. Funder stakers will keep their ALBT, ILBT, and locked ALBT. 
Alliance Block Liquidity Mining campaign participants will receive their positions and awards at the snapshot. Buyers Buyers are DEX users who acquired ALBT tokens up to 24 hours after Twitter announced the event. Snapshot explains this group's distribution system. Sellers Sellers traded ALBT tokens on DEXs up to 24 hours after Twitter announced the occurrence. Snapshot explains this group's distribution system. Traders Traders are DEX users who purchased and traded ALBT tokens 24 hours after Twitter announced the event. Snapshot explains this group's distribution system. Centralized exchange users, CE says. According to Alliance Block, centralized exchanges would receive new tokens. Wait for CEX announcements and follow their directions. Snapshot. CE says ceased withdrawals, deposits at 11.04 p.m. Central European Time on February 1, 2023. Alliance Block will distribute tokens based on on-chain data, whereas CE says will distribute tokens. Alliance Block smart contract token holders will receive 100%. Before the snapshot, traders will receive tokens in their wallets. The compensation mechanism has a fall-off function for traders between the snapshot and 24 hours following the Twitter announcement. Buyers and sellers will get a portion of their purchases and sales, respectively. Using the same fall-off function, anyone who had a mix of transactions between the snapshot and 24 hours following the announcement will be rewarded based on the price on Uniswap, 3 cents, at the snapshot. 23.04 Central European Time, a few hours after the event. The event was immediately reported to CE Says, where ALBT is posted. CE Says decide whether to pause or cease transactions. We had no influence over CEX trading. To avoid liquidity on other networks, we have halted Alliance Block Bridge activities. Full off. Traders, purchasers, and sellers will earn tokens equivalent to the tokens they purchased or sold based on a fall-off algorithm that considers the snapshot up to 24 hours after the Twitter announcement. Buyers, DEX, DEX. Buyers will get portion of their purchase after fall-off. Sellers, DEX, DEX. Sellers will get less after the fall-off function but still a respectable amount of ALBT. Traders, DEX, DEX. Traders use full off. The period between trades and ALBT token prices implies traders have assumed an extra risk, which we cannot control. Depending on their transactions, traders may earn fewer tokens than at the Twitter announcement. Proceeding. The reaction team is busy arranging on-chain token delivery. A blog with timelines will introduce the new cryptocurrency in the coming days. Beware Twitter and Telegram frauds. Since the vulnerability was announced, fake Twitter and Telegram accounts have appeared, helping to disseminate the new coin. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Thank you for watching if you made it all the way through. Stay tuned we are an active administration. Please like, comment, and subscribe, never be afraid to voice your opinion. Tell us in the comments what you think and give us some suggestions on what kind of content you'd like us to deep dive into. Until next time, good day, good night, and goodbye.